What's up? This is Rick from Pseudo Samurai again. Um, we're just continuing with our Citrus Engine tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to cover another animation technique. So last time we were using our uh, our Swift. Okay, we made it in Flash. Had all these animations. Um, the Citrus Engine pre -gen or generates a sprite sheet, and it works pretty well. But it does have some drawbacks. It can uh, increase the load time and, and uh, memory usage. Also, we just don't have as much control as maybe we want. So next is, or the next method we're going we're gonna to try is just generating our own sprite sheet. OK, so I'm going to go back to the, the uh, flash file I made the first time. This has all my, my animations in it for my character. Okay, and starting with CS6, uh, you can generate sprite sheets from your uh, from your movie clips. So I'm just going to select them all, and right click, and go generate sprite sheet. Okay, so over here we have all our animations. Okay, so if I preview right now, it's previewing duck, there's hurt, idle, jump, and walk. All right, so um, I want to make sure that trim is selected. Okay, and, and what that does is if we look at uh, our sheet, is it just kind of uh, spaces them as close together as possible, trims out any extra space. And then stacking frames. So some of these frames are going to be the same, okay? Um, just through the way the animation works or multiple animations using the same frame, things like that. So if I hit stack frame, it'll reduce the amount of um, characters I need. So there's like three of that one, right? Uh, I want to make sure my data format is Starling, okay? And basic is fine for the algorithm. Um, it, it doesn't really matter which you use, honestly. So there we go. Um, we're just going to export it right here. I'm going to call it hero. PNG is fine. OK. And so I hit export. Boom. And let's take a look right in here. Um, so here's my, here's my sprite sheet. OK. So this is everything I need. And it also gives me. A, um, an XML file, also called Hero, and in here it just has uh, basically a texture. Uh, it's a texture texture atlas, and um, so you'll see the name Duck, right, and then the frame number. So there's only these frames needed for the Duck animation, and then there's the Hurt animation, Idle, Jump, Walk, etc. So um, this has all the information we need, and we're ready to go. So we'll go back to, well, actually, I forgot. We need to move this into our project. So my hero PNG and my XML file both need to be in my, I'm going to put them in my sprites folder here, okay? And then... Uh, We'll make it work. So what we're going to do is embed some uh, embed our files. Okay. So we're just going to say bracket embed then we have our source then we want to find our folder again right so Sprites, and then we have our hero.png, right? And we'll make it a private, if I could spell, private var. We'll just call it uh, hero anim, and it is a class. Like that. Okay. And then we need to actually, I'll just copy this. And 
and we want to embed our hero XML. Okay, and we also need to set the mime type, right? And we want um, octet screen, octet stream. Okay, and this one will be called hero uh, XML. Is fine, just like that. Okay, cool. So we're uh, we have these embedded. Now we'll come down right above our hero instantiation. And what we need is we need a texture act atlas. So I'm just going to call it TA. So type texture atlas. Right? And that's a new texture atlas. Okay, so we got to pass in some things here. So we want a texture. Um, make sure you get in the starling right dot from bitmap and we want a new and then hero anim whoops what I called it up up there hero anim okay so there's our texture and then we need to pass in the XML and that'll be a new um, hero XML. All right. So now we have our texture at atlas. Now we need to make a um, an animation sequence. So we'll just call this um, uh, hero sequence. This is fine. And we want an animation sequence. Make sure you get the starling one and not the, the blit blitting one. Okay, so now we just go new animation sequence. Or we'll pass in our texture atlas, so TA. And then we need to pass in an array of all the um, animation names that we're going to use, right? So we have like walk. Um, idle uh, doc. What else do we have? Hurt. There's four. There's one more. What am I missing? Oh, jump. Jump. Okay. So <clears throat> that's the array of our animations. And next up, we need the starting animation. Idle, right? And then it wants the, the frames. And for whatever reason, I didn't really look when I started making these. Uh, this is set to 45. That's my frame rate for these animations. So I'm just going to keep it the same. Um, I got that down here in my properties panel. My frames per second is 45. So we'll go 45 right there. And we can close that off. Boom, just like that. Okay, and then finally, we just need to change our view of our hero to um, our hero sequence. So hero sequence, just like that. Um, I shouldn't really need to change anything else. Okay, so let's test it out. So there's my guy. He's he's got his idle, jump, walk, duck. All right. So all those. Uh, ooh, there's my hurt. No, he got rid of my box. Now I have to go down and. But anyway. Um, now I'm, I'm animating using a sprite sheet instead of the Swift file. Okay, so pretty sweet. Um, I'd recommend using the Swift setup for um, kind of simple things. 
like if, if I wanted to have animated coins or, or something along those lines, using the, the Swift sprite sheet, um, or I mean the, the yeah, the, making your animation in Flash as a Swift, it's probably easy, easiest way to do it, but like your characters, you might want to go with a, um, a sprite sheet like, like, a, like this. Uh, and then next time, I'm going to cover uh, the third way to animate in the Citrus Engine using a um, using Dragon Bones, which is well, it's pretty sweet, but it, it uses code for the animation, um, and it gives you a significantly reduced uh, sprite sheet size, like much smaller, and that would be best for characters actually. But really, it just depends on the game you're making. Um, you can mix and use all three. Um, so, yep. Short one today. Good. Look at that. Woo! I must have been inside the, uh, the object there. Uh, anyway, now I'm just rambling, so I'm going to cut this tutorial off. But that's the, the easy way of using a, a sprite sheet in our Citrus. Uh, engine. So uh, I'll see you next time.